Mineral Resources of India Part 1 The overall economic development of any country depends upon its mineral wealth which is available as a natural resource. India has abundant resources of minerals and energy. Minerals The earth is made up of rocks which are composed of different substances called minerals. Minerals are found in the rocky part of the earth and are important raw materials for construction and manufacturing industries. They play a very important role in our day-to-day -day lives. Right from the huge buildings we live to the computers and mobiles we use. Even early man used tools made of rocks and stones. Most of the metallic and non-metallic minerals are found near the surface of the earth. Some minerals like petroleum and natural gas are found very deep inside the earth. The ocean bed is a treasure of minerals. Kinds of Minerals Minerals are of two major types, metallic minerals and non-metallic minerals. These are present in the earth's crust in the form of ores. An ore is a mineral that contains a metal in such quantities that it can be extracted profitably. The ore may contain other minerals too. Metallic minerals are minerals from which metals are extracted. Iron, Copper, Manganese, Zinc, Silver, Nickel, Aluminium and Gold are examples of metals that are extracted from different metallic minerals. Aluminium is extracted from bauxite, one of its main ores. Non-metallic minerals are minerals that have no metallic shine and break easily. These include sand, coal, gypsum, petroleum, limestone, etc. Gypsum is largely used in making cement. Mining The earth's crust is made up of rocks that are composed of minerals. There are about 3000 kinds of minerals present on the earth. The extraction of minerals from the earth is done through various processes jointly termed as mining. Minerals are used in industries and are of commercial value. They are dug out from mines, which are mineral-rich areas near the crust or in the interior of the earth. Many tests and surveys are carried out to determine the exact location 
of the mineral deposits. Permission to mine is given only when geologists confirm the presence of large deposits of a particular mineral which can be commercially exploited. Some important metallic minerals found in India. Iron is one of the most important minerals and is used in the manufacture of machinery and tools, medical and agricultural implements, vehicles and a host of household articles. It is also used extensively in railways, buildings, bridges, etc. Iron is extracted from iron ore found in the earth's crust. The iron and steel industry has contributed significantly in the progress of the country. India has huge deposits of iron ore in Bihar, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Kerala, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra. Copper It is a valuable metal as it is a good conductor of electricity. It is largely used in making electric wires and electrical appliances. Copper, when mixed with zinc, forms brass and when mixed with tin, forms bronze. It is also used for making household utensils. It occurs in small quantities in India. It is found in Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Uttarakhand, Gujarat, Jharkhand and Tamil Nadu. Manganese is used in the manufacture of steel. It is also used in chemicals and glass industries. India has many deposits of manganese in Odisha, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Goa and Maharashtra. Aluminium is a light, flexible, rust-proof metal. Aluminium is used in the manufacture of utensils, airplanes, ships, automobile bodies, electric wires, etc. Aluminium is also a cheaper substitute of wood for furniture making. Huge deposits of bauxite, the chief ore of aluminium, are found in Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat and Maharashtra. Gold, a precious metal, is naturally expensive and has always enjoyed high demand. This bright colored metal is largely used in making ornaments. India has very few gold deposits. The Huti gold mines in Karnataka is as of June 2014 the only gold producing mine in the country. Mineral Resources of India Some important non-metallic minerals these do not contain any metallic content but are mined for extraction of non-metals. 
limestone, mica, gypsum are the commonly used non-metallic minerals. Asbestos, diamond and various precious stones are other minerals found in different parts of the country. Limestone is used in construction work, in the production of cement and also in the purification of iron ore. India has limestone deposits in Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Odisha and Karnataka. Mica India is the world's largest producer of mica. Indian mica is mainly used in manufacturing electronic gadgets, drugs, paints, etc. Huge deposits of mica are found in Andhra Pradesh, Jharkhand, Bihar and Rajasthan. Gypsum This non-metallic mineral is used to make cement and chemical fertilizers. States such as Rajasthan, Uttarakhand and Tamil Nadu have abundant gypsum deposits. We must remember that minerals are a non-renewable resource which means that they have a limited supply and hence they will get depleted as we keep using them. So remember that minerals ought to be used only where necessary. Fuels Non-metallic minerals like coal and petroleum are extracted to be used as fuel. Anything that emits energy or heat when burnt is called a fuel. A fuel may be a solid, liquid or gas. These are used to generate electricity which is then further used to light our homes, offices, schools, etc. As petrol and diesel, it is used in generators, cars, trucks and automobiles. Coal Natural gas and mineral oils like petroleum are called fossil fuels. Because they are formed from the remains of plants and animals buried in the earth millions of years ago. When we burn these fuels, we use fossilized energy. Fossilized energy is solar energy stored in the remains of plants and animals which they absorbed while they were living. Coal is made from the remains of plants. Oil and natural gas is formed from the remains of marine organisms. History of Coal The conditions to form coal began to develop about 300 million years ago when the earth was covered with dense forests and wide shallow seas. Occasionally, the forested areas got flooded by the seas, trapping plants and algae at the bottom of swampy wetland. This plant debris got buried and compressed deep under earth's surface. As a result, 
it was subjected to very high temperature and pressure in the absence of oxygen. This type of slow decomposition of plant debris retained most of its carbon, that is, source of energy, which is then converted to peat, that is the partially decomposed matter, and eventually transformed into the coal. History of Petroleum Millions of years ago, tiny sea plants and animals died and were buried under the ocean floor. Over time, they were covered by layers of sediment and rock and subsequently, the remains were buried deeper and deeper. The enormous heat and pressure turned them into oil and gas. Today, we drill down through the layers of sedimentary rock to reach the rock formations that contain oil and gas deposits and get the fossil fuel, petroleum and natural gas. While coal is largely used to generate electricity, petroleum is regarded more as a transportation fuel. Almost half the known reserves of oil are in the Middle East. Coal is found in every continent on planet Earth. Major coal reserves in India, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh. Major petroleum reserves in India, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh. Fossil fuels are the world's piggy bank of energy. And when we use them up, we exhaust our savings. But these fuels being non-renewable are limited in their supply as they are not being replaced as fast as they are being consumed. One day, we'll have none left. So it is very important to have alternative sources of energy which are renewable. Solar power, water and tidal power and wind power are renewable sources of energy as these will never run out. Solar power plants produce electricity without creating pollution.